Greek mythology talks about a group of winged gods who are called the Erotes. They are believed to be a part of Aphrodite's retinue. Aphrodite is the goddess of love and beauty, so the Erotes personify a certain aspect of love. Hymenaeus is also one of the Erotes and is considered as the god of marriage ceremonies, inspiring feasts and songs. Hymenaeus shares the same appearance as his fellow Erotes. He is depicted as a very handsome youth with wings. He is also known by the names Hymen and Hymenaeus. Just as love, the marriage is considered to be a holy event. The god is believed to visit the ceremony if it is a successful one. If by any means the god failed to attend, the Greeks believe the marriage is destined to fall. And that applies not only for the marriages of the mortals, but also for the marriages of gods. So even gods expect his arrival on the day of their marriage. On the marriage day, Greeks will go around calling out for his name, so he would visit the ceremony. It is traditional to sing out praise for the god when the bride's party moves to the groom's house. There are many stories as to how the name of the god originated. The genre of poems sung at a wedding are called hymenaios. So some legends claim these songs existed even before the birth of the god, and the god was named after this genre. Another legend is, once he was flying across the sea, he saw a group of beautiful maidens being washed away in the sea. Hymenaeus saw them and quickly went to their aid. As gratitude for saving their lives, the maidens began to sing songs praising him. Later these songs were sang in their weddings, in honor of Hymenaeus. On hearing these songs, he visited their marriage and blessed them with fortune. There onwards, the tradition lasted through generations. And another legend is, which is of course a quite popular one, Hymenaeus was a Athenian youth. He possessed great beauty, but he was born to a low-class family. He fell in love with a beautiful woman, but she happens to be the daughter of the wealthiest woman in the city. Because of their class differences, Hymenaeus was not allowed to talk or see her. So he started to follow her everywhere she goes. The Athenians celebrated a function where only women are allowed to attend. Hymenaeus disguised himself as a woman and attended the festival with the intention of meeting with the woman he fell in love. During the festival, they were invaded by a group of pirates. Hymenaeus was also captured because of his disguise and taken to their ship. He removed his disguise and killed those who captured them. He promised to safely take them back to Athens if they agree to give the hand of the woman he loves. They all agree to it, and as they sail across the sea, the women sang songs praising Hymenaeus's heroic work. After his death, he was rose as the god of marriage. Instead of a bow and arrow, Hymenaeus is said to carry a torch, which is called the bridal torch. With this torch, Hymenaeus enlightened the marriage. When the god visit the ceremony and bless the marriage, the bride is said to sense his presence. The god is mentioned in the Trojan women written by Euripides. In it the character Cassandra narrates. Bring the light, uplift and show its flame. I am doing the god's service, see. I am making his shrine to glow with tapers bright. O Hymen, King of marriage. Blessed is the bridegroom, blessed am I also, the maiden soon to wed a princely lord in Argos. Hail Hymen, King of marriage. Even though Hymenaeus is a significant god in Greek mythology, his capabilities are not much mentioned. Unless for the mention of him blessing the marriage, there is no clear description of how he does it. Comment down below what you think of this story and anything I might have missed to mention. My patron and subscribers, thank you so much for being amazing supporters.
please consider to like, comment and share this video. I hope to see you again with another story to tell.